All right, man, we gotta, we gotta talk about these uh, mystery box, mystery box scam, uh, sneaker con mystery box scam that's been going around and been floating all over through social media for quite some time. And for the most part, man, as I always stated before, man, sneaker con, the foundation, the people behind it, I've had a long time relationship with those people. So I'm gonna say that first and foremost, but I, you know, speak my mind when I see something that I don't agree with or don't like. And this is going to be another one of those videos. Now, these mystery boxes that we're going to be seeing here are not in direct association with SneakerCon. They're not a SneakerCon mystery box, but from what I've heard, they are mystery boxes that are being sold at SneakerCon by a vendor. And to break some of these down, I wanted to show you guys how some of these things look, and then we're gonna dive more into it. We'll, we'll talk about it when we actually watch it. Opening a $300 mystery box at SneakerCon. All right, let's see what's going on here, man. But he got the gray dreads and everything. Oh, Blue Jordan One. Jordan One True Blue. All right, so this was released two months ago, okay? And just to uh, actually look this up itself, let me let me just go and see how much did a True Blue cost two months ago. From Stock X, the two-month trade range was two hundred and thirty-nine dollars to the low being at the one sixty-nine. So as you can see, it's been going in the downtrend. Back in December, I guess when this was uploaded, we saw that it was going for two hundred and thirty-nine at the time. And these are three hundred dollar mystery boxes, so this itself is not worth it. Uh, let's see what's going on here. You got a hundred bucks back. You got a hundred dollars back. Seem like a Jordan or something, keychain or something, cream sticker. That's like ten bucks. Robbery right before your eyes, brother. Robbery right before your eyes. That hundred dollars. You saw they zoomed in on that hundred dollars. And let this be known that this is being posted on a guy by the name of Chase Briner. I feel like I've met this man before too in person. This is the guy who actually is running these mystery boxes. So we're seeing videos that he's uploaded from his channel of like, you know, showing it almost in a way kind of promoting it. And that made sure that zoom in on that hundred dollars so that we can see that that was also a part of that. So Let's see how much this shoe is going for. Okay, here we have is a ready-made. Retail is 160. This was uploaded back seven days ago and currently on the market around $231 if you wanna buy it, plus the $100 back. So this one kind of looks a little bit like last sale, 190. So he paid 300, he got $100 back, so 200. It seems like he's kind of breaking even right now compared to the last sale on this shoe. He kind of broke even, so not bad for the most part. We have another What's your video name? Where here. You from? Now, this is the one I've recently seen. From Florida? $300 hometown? Uh, Royal One Mystery Box, I guess. All right, 300 Look inside. Oh! Okay. Orange Lobster okay. SB. Pretty good hit, huh? Go. Hey, that's a good hit. Not even with the, wait, the box? Look yeah. inside. I want my original box, but let's just look this up. Orange Lobster. So he didn't even get the same... The original box the orange lobster right now is going for the last sale four hundred dollars so he actually hit and did very well for the most part so salutes to him on that he paid 300 and got a 400 dollars shoe at least if you wanted to buy it right now but as i stated these are all from chase's channel being uploaded let's see what we can find on the internet elsewhere all right let's see what's in it Ooh, salute to my brother rob dollar 300 dollars right here Ooh. nike dunk low cider so we had to go, you know, digging a little bit on Twitter because I wanted to see what's really going on. Blue. Judging by your hoodie, you like the color $300, blue? $300, bro. I'm sorry. Right now, this is it's still not worth it in my humble opinion, man. Uh, my name is Darlin. I'm from here. And yeah. Fort Lauderdale. So, hey, let's go. I'll let you do the honors. Hey, it looks like a dunk, dunk, dunk. A dunk oh, up something. Oh my god, yeah, this is a straight high. robbery, bro. I think those are women's sizes. Uh, nine, nine. Nike Dunk Desert Cam on women's size. I didn't have $300. $300. Sheesh. That ain't $300 right there in the comment section. Yeah. That's a robbery, bro. That's a robbery right there, bro. $300? $300? Skip it through. 
an all star. Oh my god. Precise? What's up, Charles? All stars. Those go for at least 160 at the max. 157. $300, you just lost $150. A $300 mystery box set sneaker caught. Let's see what she gets. The Polaroid. She bought a $300. I can't even slap my hat down. This hat's a little too nice for that. This is once again another robbery. $161. So since all this has started happening and gaining traction, Chase himself put in a video for us to listen to. On the on the back end of like a lot of people's like TikToks and people doing reaction videos and whatever. But, uh, you know, people don't like showing the good boxes with, like, the Travis Scotts, with the Lost and Founds two months early, with the Off-White uh, Air Forces. People like showing the Pandas and other stuff. But it's a gamble. You guys, every box can't be a hit. So here you got a one in three shot. Normally it's been a one in four. Normally it's been 25%. This time we upped it to 33%. And we put two grand prizes for a one-day show. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the boxes opening. Stay I know we've all right, brother. Let me talk, man. You messed up big time already. You stated one thing, you said one word right off the rip that's gonna put you in trouble. Gamble. You said gamble. Okay. Gambling itself is uh well maybe here at this I don't know if you were in Las Vegas, but gambling the way you termed it said it right, you know, gambling is illegal in a lot of different places, okay? And I'm not here to count a person's pockets or put a person, you know, on front street, but you gotta make sure you word these type of things right. You're gambling or you're offering this gamble to 13, 14, 15 year old kids out there. Um, I don't know if the kid has to sign off or the parent has to be there, but we saw a lot of videos of little kids, like the one that did the True Blues that are out there, you know, spending their $300. I don't know, maybe you need a parent there to do that, but using the term, it's a gamble, is automatically now gonna put you in a bad light. Another thing, when it comes to a mystery box, at least from my end, at least from even me as a business owner myself, I've done mystery boxes with sample. When you pay for a mystery box, you're usually gonna get somewhere close to that value if you don't hit. And what I mean by that is I pay $300, I should get $300 worth of stuff. However, it might not be everything that I want, but at the original amount, it's, you know, $300 or slightly over or slightly low. What I mean by that is if Sample Industries does a mystery box for $100, you might get an item that's gonna be retailed at 60 bucks a t-shirt, right? And then you might get four other items out there that are $10 each, but you know, and that's $100. You're still gonna get your $100 of the value. It might not be everything that you wanted, but the value of that actual item is going to still equal that $100. But some people might get a $60 t-shirt and then another $60 t-shirt. So they got a $120 value thing for only paying $100. That's when they come up. You shouldn't be spending $300 on a mystery box and then taking a $150 loss, $50 loss, $100 loss. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, this is people's money at the end of the day. If they want to be a fool and get, you know, finessed out here, that's up to them. At the same time though, I just think that this is not even like uh, a, a legitimate type of thing. It's almost like a, it's just a straight up finesse, bro. SneakerCon has came out and made a tweet about this. We are aware of the mystery boxes put together at our events and are currently assessing the situation. SneakerCon's objective is to create a safe and welcoming environment for all attendees. And we will be developing a position on these type of activities, reflective of that. Me personally, I don't think this is a good thing at all. These sneaker cons attract kids, bro. The same thing with the shell game. The same thing with just fakes, you know, uh, the same thing with the, remember back when they were selling the the uh, customs, but they were really just baby fake shoes that they called novelty items and all that. They had fake Supreme cases being made and all, all that stuff that was going on. There's always these little things, these little finesses going on within SneakerCon. And I appreciate that SneakerCon always addresses these things, but the fact that it has how long it actually takes to address it is where my issue is. The shell game situation that someone got killed at. I made a video about the shell game being happening back in 2017, okay? It took five years for and someone to get killed for it to be, more than likely, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be heavily addressed now. The novelty thing, it took multiple people putting out videos for this to actually come forth. This situation, again, you know, like, bruh, 
if you actually look at the guy's channel, look at these boxes. He has a booth. SneakerCon, I'm pretty sure you vet the people that you allow to come to your, 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 your foundation. So it's not like you guys didn't know what was going on. But it's like sometimes it takes big things to happen for y'all to actually jump on it. And I don't I don't agree with that. This is my part that I have an issue with. I mean, it looks like, and I, I can't tell wholeheartedly how many of these things he makes. But let's just say he makes 100 of these boxes and you're charging $300. Alexa, what is 300 times 100? 300 times 90,000. $90,000 a show. Sold out. I don't even know how many this guy did. Let's just not even say he did 100. All right, lady, be quiet. Be quiet. I'm not even going to say that you did a that you did 100. Let's just say you did one in three chance pulling shoe, pulling money plus a shoe, unreleased shoes. See, unreleased shoes don't always equal to $300 grand prize is travis scott jordan like it, it just it's it's nice no it's no good in my opinion let's just say he does let's just say he does 50 of them that's still forty five thousand dollars let's just say he does 20 of them i doubt he's there's, there's, there's damn sure not no 20 there's, there, that's damn there's more these damn they're, they're towers of this thing man six thousand dollars whatever you want to call it like these things are going on me personally i stay away from mystery boxes and I even say that with me doing them myself. If you see a guy on YouTube doing a mystery box video, don't go and buy a mystery box from the company that they're showing. He's a YouTuber, okay? They're gonna make his box look good, okay? If I went up there and did it, you know, I, 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 I'm not even gonna put it on these guys and say that they'll give me a good box. I'm not gonna say that. But more than likely, if you're doing it for a company, that company is gonna make sure that they're represented well through a YouTuber. And it's no shots at people because I have friends that do the mystery box videos. Some of them promote sites, some of them don't. Some, you know, I remember they used to be the, uh, what's that, uh, beaters and all that, bo beater boxes. Even then, some of those still kind of, the value was there. You spend $500, you might get $500 worth in beaters, you know, but you still get your value worth out of it. In my opinion, if I'm spending three hundred dollars, you need to give me, you know, pandas went for a hundred and uh, pandas right now are going for like a hundred dollars. Give give me two pandas, you know, and two t shirt two t shirts or something, something that's equivalent to the three hundred dollars. And what I mean is, I understand you have to make your money to continue this on because everything is built around money at the end of the day. He can't continue his business if he's out here breaking even on every single box. I get it. And I understand that, but you getting a Jordan one true blue that I just got recently 180, right? And then selling it for $300 or putting it in a mystery box. And you, you, you're making, you making more money than a reseller at this point. It's just finesse. It's just, it's too much of a finesse in my opinion. And yeah, you said it when people were not showing the off white. Well, we got your channel to go look through and see all the, you know, all the amazing hits. They're all right here. All these are amazing hits, right? Like, I mean, we're not going to see any. Uh, let's all see right, if we so they just one. picked two I boxes. I can't skip this. No, I can't. Yeah, little let's man. Got the only got, size man. four that we had. What? Yeah, it's gold on the other side. Hold on. What the hell are those? What is that? It should match pretty much everything. Yeah. And you want a black shoe, so there you go. That's perfect. Black perfect for little man. Now mom's turn. Such an L, these shits go for barely $100. Okay, so lose him for putting this one out there, then, if that's the case. He at least showed it, but I don't even know what those are. Jeez. Me personally, man, I think that the whole mystery box thing just needs to go away. It's just too much. You're going to end up catching the wrong person who spends $300. They're going to get the sh some, some bull, some, some BS shoe, and they're going to be an issue up there. You're going to try the wrong, it's going to be the wrong person that's not going to accept that. So, uh, sneaker con, I'm just saying, bro, you know, it's, Hey, no issue with uh, no issue with your business, Chase. I, I understand you're trying to run it here, but that model, in my opinion, just doesn't work. I never knew of a mystery box that you spend three hundred. Like this, there's a difference between a mystery box and like a gamble, like paying twenty a raffle. This is almost like a raffle, really. It's really like a raffle in a way. You're paying three hundred dollars, and you you know you, you spend the wheel and land, and you get this and that. Like you're gonna get something back, but if I'm spending $300 and then getting a $100 shoe or even a $200 shoe for a mystery box, uh, I'm just, I'm just, it doesn't sit well with me, man. This is me, my, my, my personal opinion. Spend your money how you want to at the end of the day. These little mystery box things, in my opinion, though, is it a scam or is it not? It's more so on the scam. Salute to my homie T Blake, and he said it best. Mystery boxes can be good if it's a set value. I remember Diamond Supply would do $100 mystery boxes with $300 of MSRP inside by size. These boxes are just gambling and the buyers are part of the problem. 
definitely i definitely would have to say that the buyers themselves have to take accountability for that and i am saying that straight up and what he means by that is diamond supply did it but also uh it was another brand out there i forgot the name bobby bubbles or johnny but not johnny bubbles but something bubbles or something it was something like that and you can get 10 t-shirts for a hundred dollars mystery box you buy the box and you get 10 t's the thing is the t-shirts were shirts that were on sale so you just get hit with all the sales like the leftover items even then like the msrp on those when they initially released were probably like 20 30 dollars so you're getting 10 t-shirts you're getting 300 worth of t-shirts for 10 bucks a piece that's a crazy mystery box if you ask me but like i stated before let me create a mystery box for you for 300 dollars. what i would do if i'm me i'm trying to make me some money right so i'm about to make a mystery box that's 300 dollars for you and i get money back in return like i make i they're they like the people the person's not gonna get the grand prize but they'll get something where they're like dang i didn't get the grand prize but all right i'm gonna make you one real quick all right you enter in you get your box in the mail wherever tony d2i mystery box saying you paid 300 dollars and i gotta make me some money right bam you get here the jordan 5 mars or let me let me make sure i get this you know full film you get the jordan 5 mars or dunk on mars right bam you get that and then you also get this tennessee hat please 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 forgive me guys texas longhorns forgive me please forgive me please new era snapback okay you spent three hundred dollars you got a two hundred dollar shoe plus tax maybe 210 and then you got this hat here which you see is marketed at 55 bucks so you spent 300 and you got back in return a value of around 265 dollars tax everything i made off of that maybe a good what 35 40 50 dollars on that box that in my opinion is way more fair than buying that for 300 dollars and then you come out with this and a few little jack-o-lanterns and and keychains and all that and call it a day and on the bottom of this it says 500 dollars. like it just ain't gonna work that way and i understand it like 50 bucks 30 40 bucks a box that's not what somebody would want yeah you would want to make 150 dollars profit each box but do you want to have a better reputation with what your brand is or do you want to be able to just straight up finesse and get in and get out you know that that's the situation at hand right here we're gonna see we'll see how this thing plays out at the end of the day me personally i stay away i hate to call it a scam because scam ties in the word maliciously like as if he's out here like plotting and like trying to really get kids and fraudulent he should go to jail type stuff like i don't feel like it's like that i feel like the best thing to call it is that what he said is a gamble and a mystery box it should be a gamble as in you get your value or something close to it or more but not paying 300 dollars and getting a polaroid dunk that retails or resells for 150 you're losing those jack-o-lanterns and stickers all that stuff bro is this i can go grab a couple of those right now in my room like it, it ain't those are the things that lay around but last sale 150 you know from my size i just don't think people should be taking 150 dollar losses even a hundred dollar loss i don't i don't think that that's that's not a good gamble you know this is not a good gamble at all in my opinion so i would stay away from it and we'll see how it goes with sneaker con sneaker con keeps it hey they don't think it's an issue if they don't keep it and if it's gone we'll see but i think what's going to actually come out of all this is they're going to set an amount like 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 t like t blake said i feel like what's going to happen is when you go out there and get another box you spend 300 dollars. it's going to say somewhere in that little form minimum 200 dollars value item or minimum 250 dollars valued item and it's going to be something more official this guy right here bro this guy him bro robbed with the black air force one robbery y'all are disrespectful for putting that tag on the box where the hell did this shoe where did this shoe come from bro what what store bro? Who, who 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 bought this shoe bro initially like what does that say right there is that the supply thing that's on this place because i want to know royal one i want to know who what store had this if somebody can let me know in the comment section please let me know what this is this logo for this store who's selling i want to see what they got for selling their items bro it's insane let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section i love y'all i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one man i'm out peace